Hi everyone, this is going to be part two of my labour and delivery. I'll link part one below if you want to go watch that if, you have, if you've already missed that one. So, um, in the last video I left it uh, when the midwife and my husband both turned up. They both got there at quarter past seven in the morning. The midwife comes in and she says to me, because um, I'm in the bath, and she says, I need you to get out of the bath to check you. And I asked if she could check me in the bath, but she said no, that she um, has to check me out of the bath. So um, we go upstairs to my room, and as I'm on my way up, another midwife arrives, because you always get two at home birth. Uh, she, then just before she checks me I ask her how far along she thinks I'd be and she says about four and I said to her I was hope, I'm hoping for a five so she checks me and she says that I am five centimetres and that the baby was back to back so we go downstairs and I tell my husband I said to him I'm five centimetres so this next five should go should hopefully go pretty quick it usually does so um, she says to me, the midwife says to me, uh, try and um, get the baby to turn by uh, leaning over the birthing ball or getting into a, like a leapfrog position. So I lean over the birthing ball um, with my bum as high up in the air as possible. Got my headphones on, I'm swaying and I'm just listening to my hypnobirthing music and it was really helping me, really, really helping me to get through the, the, them pains. Uh, they kept checking the baby every so often with the monitor, like just to check that his heart rate was okay. And if it was fine, and then at eight o'clock, the the, mid, the second midwife that had turned up had to leave. So um, the midwife that I used to see for my weekly appointment or my checks, my my um, what are they called your midwife appointments. <laughs> She turned up, which I was which I was glad she did, because she was who I was hoping would would be on call. So them two swapped over. That was eight o'clock, and then I said to them, uh, the midwives, I said, you know, these pains they're painful. I said, but they're nice. Like this is just such an easy, you know, this is really easy. I can, I can do this. You know, they're manageable. And they were like, oh, that's really good. You know, you know, you're coping really well. Blah blah blah. And then around about. 20 past, quarter past 20 past, something like that, 8 o'clock. Um, I had like, the next four contractions that I had um, were really painful. They'd completely changed in strength. They were so painful that I had so much pain in my back that I kept asking my husband to push on my back. So I kept push, like, kept, just keep pushing on my back, like, as if you're going to push me over, put that much force into it. And I'd gone from being all calm and, you know, mellowing with the music and stuff to just screaming the usual, I can't do it, I can't do it, this is too painful, you know, that sort of talk. So the midwife suggested on breaking my waters. So at first I didn't want to, then I, I, I just said, okay, right, yeah, let's, let's, do, let's do it. So we go upstairs and she checks me first and she says, there's not been much change, you're still about five to, five to six. I'll break your waters and I'll see what happens. So she breaks my waters and she says, well, it's made a little bit of difference. Um, you're probably about a seven. So then, um, so then I said to her, um, well, no, I said, I didn't realise she'd done it, so I said to her, have you done it? And she said, yeah, yeah. And then I said, oh, yeah, I can feel it now. I, I honestly didn't feel them break my waters. I, it, it didn't hurt. I didn't feel it. Because some people say that it hurts and things like that, but I really honestly didn't feel it. I didn't, didn't know it had been done. Um, then... I stood up, I said, can I, can I get up? So as I got up, um, I felt a pop in my stomach. So I don't think she really broke the waters like properly or all of it or whatever. But, but as soon as I stood up, I felt the pop, the pop of the, um, the bag. But my waters didn't gush at that point. I didn't even feel, I didn't really feel them trickle, but I wasn't really paying much attention. There, def there definitely wasn't water on the floor, so it definitely didn't gush. And then um, my husband goes, oh, I think, I think she wants to have the baby in water. Did, like, didn't you clear you want to have the baby in the bath? And the, mid the midwife goes, no, nah, no, nah, we're, we're too late now. Look, look, we're practically there. Which I just think that she was just saying that. I think that she, um, she just didn't want to get her hands messy. Because it wasn't until after they'd left 
that my mum said that she mentioned about me wanting to give birth in the bath and she told my mum no it wasn't the best place to have a baby so I think she just didn't she just couldn't be bothered so yeah so once I stood up I felt that pop and I said to them oh I really need to push now and they said well, if you do go with it you know go, just just go with just go with what your body wants you to do so I started to like try and push but I just didn't feel like I was making any progress I was really tired and I started getting really screamy, like high pitch shrills, like I started screaming high pitch. And then uh, the midwife goes, why don't you try a bit of gas and air, Claire? I said, no, I don't like it. So uh, my husband goes, oh, go on, Claire, just try it, like, you know, just give it a go. And the midwife goes, yeah, see, Claire. Like, well, I, I then shouted at the pair of them. I said, no, 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 don't keep asking me, I don't like it. I tried it last time, I didn't like it. The midwife goes, Oh, go on, Claire. You, so your husband says it's fine. And I just I snapped at, the, snapped at them all. I was just like, don't ask me again. Do not ask me again if I want pain relief. I do not like it. Don't ask me again. My husband was like, Claire, no one's going to give you a medal, you know, for doing it natural. So then I said to them, what don't you people understand? I just don't like it. So yeah, I shouted at them. And then I said to them, I, I can't stand up anymore. I can't do it standing up. I'm going to have to get on the bed. So I laid down on the bed. I was trying to push on the bed. And I said, I'm just, I'm just so tired. I kept asking them, you know, how far along, you know, I, can you see his head, you know, am I nearly there, you know, all that. And I said, I'm just so tired. My eyes were shutting. I said, I'm just, I'm just it's so exhausted. I can't do this anymore. So every time I had um, the urge to push, my husband was holding, holding me up, trying to help me to hold, up, hold my neck up. I was just so tired. Then um, eventually I felt like his head pop out. And as soon as I felt that, I thought, right, I'm there, I'm just going to give it all I've got. So I just gave another push and um, I looked down as I was pushing and I, I, I see like him come out, I see him come out and I put, I put him straight on the bed. And I laid back I, and I said to Naz, I said, um, what, what is it Naz, you tell me, because I was really adamant that I didn't want the midwife to tell me and that was something that I stated in my birth plan that I wanted my husband to tell me what it was. So I asked him straight, I was like, what is it, what is it, you tell me, you tell me. And he's, he looked and he was like, oh, it's, he was like, it's, it's a boy, Claire. And then they said to me, oh, we're going to have to cut his cord. Because um, I really wanted to do delay cord, cord clamping. But I looked down at him and he, he's, his um, cord was wrapped a couple of times around. And they, was, they were struggling a little bit to get it off. And uh, I said, oh, all right then, okay. I had to agree to it, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't leave him like that. So I said... So I said, yeah, okay, then, you know, just cut it. So they, they, they cut it. So um, they, they gave him to me after to cut his cord. And I was all fingers and thumbs. Like, I just, I just couldn't um, remember how to hold a newborn. He was so slippery and, yeah, it was, it was a uh, very quick, very quick birth. And very easy compared to the first time around. Although the first time around, I didn't have any problems. But I just think that perhaps maybe the more babies you have, the easier it gets, because it's definitely a lot easier the second time. But I gave birth at 39 weeks and one day, which was exactly the same time as what I had my first son. Um, Noah was £6.11. He was born at 9.07am. They calculated my labour as about two to two and a half hours. Uh, he was born on the 31st of December. Um... He was 50 centimetres long and his head circumference was 36 centimetres. So that's my birth story. Um, I will speak to you all soon for another video.